the stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. Money, 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 money's coming to me. It's your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. With your host... Bill Grandy. I'm glad you mentioned the depth of J.P. Morgan and what you're doing, because I want to ask you from that vantage point uh, what you're seeing in terms of the health of the economy. Let's let's start in the U.S. and sort of walk around globally. Uh, how do you characterize things? Yeah. So the U.S., if you looked at all most of the forward-looking things, household formation, 10 million more people working since the depths of the Great Recession. Businesses are actually doing still low amount of capital expenditures, but it's growing. Consumer confidence is up. Con uh, business confidence is up. Uh, small business credit is kind of back to where it was. You haven't seen small business formation get healthy yet, but I, I think it actually might. Uh, housing, you know, turned the corner way back. Uh, innovation is alive and well. You see it at the conferences like this, and so I, America is, looks pretty damn good. But today, our businesses have added nearly 10 million new jobs over the past 52 months. <laughs> Construction and housing are rebounding. Our auto industry is booming. Manufacturing is adding jobs for the first time since the 90s. The unemployment rate has fallen to its lowest point since September of 2008, the fastest one-year drop in nearly 30 years. The decisions we made early on uh, not only stopped the slide, but also built a new foundation for our economy, and they're paying off now. For the first time since the 1990s, the number of manufacturing jobs in America hasn't gone down, it's actually gone up. Are these numbers, which continue to point to a strengthening U.S. economy, sustainable? Everything we're seeing in manufacturing now looks really solid. So actually, manufacturing has been a bright spot. Now you look at this period of job creation, we've gained over 700,000 manufacturing jobs. Our private sector is growing. You see manufacturing is up with over 700,000 jobs created in the manufacturing sector. Manufacturing output is up. Wow, where do I sign up? I'm so excited about this economy. But here's what nobody's reporting, especially about manufacturing. The manufacturing rebound is a total myth. They never report that the average factory worker now makes 7.7% below the median wage of all occupations. It's all a myth, and we'll get into that today. But right now, the market is set to open down 200 points. And the 10-year Treasury, the bond drops to 1.8. So how could that be after we hear all this glowing stuff about the economy and manufacturing? How could the bond, which tells us what the real economy looks like now and what the economy is going to look like going forward, tell us just the opposite? At 1.8% tells us the economy has a real problem. And the market's opening down 200 points. And last week, we got our 253,000 jobs. And everybody's all excited about these jobs. But the wages are going down. See, corporations are getting their profits in two areas. When you keep hearing how, wow, corporate profits are at historic highs. Well, remember how they get there. Not from consumers buying stuff. They get there first. They had massive cuts. Massive cuts. Then they started to put, with the Obamacare, most people on part-time. Part-time. Matter of fact, last year, all the job gains, 96%, were part-time. So let's think about this. Wages is what's giving, the low wages is what's giving the companies, the corporations, the Dow 30 corporations, the S&P 500 corporations, their profits off the back of the workers. That's how they're getting their profits. And that's why we have the slowest economy in 70 years, because people are not making any money. And when they're finished paying they bill their bills, they have no savings. And when a country has no savings, you have no private investment. And when you don't have any private investment, you don't create jobs, and you don't have a strong country. So what does this come down to? Very few people are making money. 
It's just the CEOs of these large corporations and the 10 percentile who own all the stocks, 80 percent of the stocks in the market. So all this stuff that we're hearing is so glowing. It's a bunch of crap. It's not true. Now, we were told low oil prices were going to be terrific. All good. But wait a minute. We just got the retail numbers today. They took a big hit. U.S. retail sales fell big time in December. Now, obviously, the gasoline, and when you go up to a gasoline station, you put your gas in your car, that's considered retail. But wait a minute. There's more than that. Even so. Even so. All the stores, and I love this, it's always surprisingly. They retreat, repeat, reported this morning that the retail stores, these malls over the Christmas shopping, posted a surprisingly weak results. What do you mean surprisingly? <laughs> I'm not surprised. I've been saying this all along. Weak results. They're in the busiest season. The shopping season, Christmas. Sales at these retail stores during Christmas dropped 9% last month. That's the lowest. I'm sorry, 0.9%. That's the lowest. The biggest decline, okay, in a year. So what's all this glowing stuff from Jamie Dimon? Now, J.P. Morgan, his company, they reported this morning. And guess what? He missed his estimates. He estimated there was going to be a dollar thirty-one. Instead, his earnings per share estimates came in a dollar nineteen. Profits dropped four point nine million. That's less than last year at the same time. Now the legal expenses. He's blaming it on legal expenses. Nine hundred million. That's what caused this caused the drop. Oh well, wait a minute. That's not a one-time expense. Legal expenses right now for these banks, these crooks, these gangsters, they're always having legal expenses because they're always screwing everybody. It's not a one-time event. Remember, El Cole came in the other night, and they really beat big time. Their estimate was 22 cents, and it came in at 33 cents. Everybody was so excited, and I said, no, wait, no. I said, make sure when that stock opens tomorrow morning, do not buy it. Do not buy it because they're going to sell into it. Why? Because it was financial engineering that got them from 22 cents estimate up to 33 cents. Because what did they do that Jamie Dimon didn't do, they turned around and they put $700 million in regular expenses. They reclassified them as one time only. Now, why didn't Jamie Dimon do that to help his earnings? Because he's smart. Because he didn't want his stock to get a big hit. Look what happened to Alcoa. Alcoa dropped. It got punished yesterday. Because smart money knows that's cheating. You can't take regular expenses and classify them as one time when they're regular. But see, Jamie Dimon didn't do that because he knows the $990 million is no longer the, the, the uh, cost for legal is one time. They're always in trouble. Wells Fargo, they closed at $51.82 last night. They beat. They beat. They had better expectations. But guess what's happening to them? Mortgage lending, that's a big part of their business, is the lowest level in five years. Wait, we were told we're in a big housing rebound. Manufacturing rebound, housing rebound. You heard. I mean, again, remember. By almost every measure, we are better off than when I took office. There By you almost have every measure. Yeah. Well, it's not true, is it? And manufacturing is the big problem in this country. Big problem. Collectively, the first 22 companies reporting for quarter 2014 results are going to be pretty weak. We'll talk about that when we get back. And when the market opens, we'll take a look at J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, this is Phil Grandy of philsgang.com. What makes investors around the world successful? They are savvy. They do their homework. They look for the best deal, and they find it at philsgang.com and Interactive Brokers. Professional investors know that Interactive Brokers provides the edge they need in today's markets. 
low commissions and financing rates, along with best price execution and a focus on advanced trading technology and low costs that help maximize returns. At Interactive Brokers, not only do professional investors get direct market access to stocks, options, futures, forex, bonds, and funds on over 100 markets in 23 countries from a single IB Universal account, they also benefit from a wide array of advanced trading technology. Go to Interactive Brokers and improve your returns today. PhilGang.com. Choose InteractiveBroker.com. Check out Interactive Brokers for more information. Be sure to tell them Phil Grandy sent you. That's InteractiveBrokers.com. Move over. TD Ameritrade and Scott Trade. There's a new leader in the pack of the finest trading platforms in the country. That's right. Phil's Easy Trade Platform. Designed by professional traders. And it's why it's so easy to navigate, so easy to execute, and includes the most important and advanced features that give both professional and novice traders the edge they would expect. So simplistic, so stealth-like to assist you in building your profit center. For information on Phil's Easy Trade platform, go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's right, folks. philsgang.com now offers a stock trading and investing platform. This unique platform is fast and designed for performance with the integration with PTT1 and PTT2 stock charts. It will also be tailored to the way that Phil's Gang teaches you in class. For more information, simply go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Hey, Phil, how about doing two radio shows a day? What are you, nuts? That's right, gang. Catch the Phil's Gang Show with Phil Grandy two times a day. Weekdays at 9 a.m. and again at 3 p.m. Eastern. Wake up with Phil broadcasting live 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern when the market opens. Phil gives you the day's financial news, business information, and social talk like no other. Then tune into the Phil's Gang Afternoon Show live at 3 p.m. Eastern when the market closes. Phil wraps up the day's events and breaking news. Be informed with Phil and the Phil's Gang Show twice a day. Listen live at philsgang.com. It's philsgang.com. Listen to what people say about philsgang.com. You know, I'd listened to you on the radio and I thought, oh, I love his sense of humor. He can make trading fun. I guess this is the guy I'm going to learn to chart with. The Phil's Gang. Phil, I have learned so much. It is absolutely incredible. For a successful investing plan for any time frame, from current income to your retirement security, philsgang.com puts you on the path to making profits in the stock market. You make it so simple if they can really grasp what you're, you're right. trying to get through to them. Only philsgang.com's Phil Grandy and Donald Cogswell teach you, coach you, and guide you to investing confidence. Being a gang member, and you're showing us how to trade in any market, yeah. which gives you such a feeling of confidence. Why pay an outrageous fee for a one-time weekend investing class when philsgang.com provides daily investing webinars, alerts, and investing advice for only $49.95 a month, and all material is archived. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy of philsgang.com. You know, a lot of people are afraid of the stock market after losing most of their money in the different crashes. But now you don't have to be fearful because we have technology that will tell you when the markets are ready to collapse. That's right, the PT2. I designed it so that we get information in advance of any correction, the smallest correction to the largest correction. Get my PT2. Make sure this time when you are investing that you have safety on your side. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. Professional traders and Investors know that Interactive Brokers provides the edge they need in today's markets. Low commissions and financing rates, along with best price execution and a focus on advanced trading technology and low costs that help maximize returns. At Interactive Brokers, not only do professional traders and investors get direct market access to stocks, options, futures, forex, bonds, and funds on over 100 markets in 23 countries from a single IB Universal account. They also benefit from a wide array of advanced trading technology, from extensive options trading tools to sophisticated risk management and much more. Keep a pulse on daily market activity with commentary with IB's Traders Insight, which delivers market analysis from professional traders in the industry directly to your screen. Visit us at InteractiveBrokers.com to learn more about these offerings. InteractiveBrokers.com Interactive Brokers, member SIPC. Welcome back to the Phil's Gang Show. 
This segment is brought to you by Phil's Talking Trader Stock Charts. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. This segment is sponsored by my PT2. And this is a wonderful chart because, once again, with today's technology, we follow the institutional money. You're never going to be on the wrong side of the market. When you wake up in the morning, you're not going to go, oh, my God, the market's down. Oh, my God, the market's up. You will always know in advance because with today's technology, we can follow what Jamie Dimon is doing. We can follow what all these CEOs are doing. We can follow where they're putting their money, the hedge funds. And, and, and you do. And it shows up. And on my PT2, it's color-coded. Red, if they're pulling money out. Green, if they're putting money in. So you'll never be on the wrong side of the transaction. You'll never have to worry again. Oh, my God, I'm going to lose all my money in a stock market crash. And that won't happen because you will have your warning from the PT2. Check it out. Go to my site, philsgang.com. Check out the PT2. It works. And we have professionals all over this country, money managers, using my PT2. And there's nothing like it. Check it out, philsgang.com. All right, now, again, remember this? We, we, we went through all this. I mean, the, the, the rhetoric that's going on is incredible. I mean, how everything is fantastic. But the people keep saying, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. And I've been telling you and warning you for a year. This is all BS. <laughs> I get hate emails. Every time I talk about Obama, I get hate email. Because they, they want to believe this crap. People want to believe this. And when I tell you things aren't good, and I tell you what he's saying is not true, you get email. They hate you for saying it. They hate you, call you a grumpy old man. I will tell you the truth every time. I've never been wrong. But when you go against the crowd, people get angry. People get angry. You're grumpy. Grumpy? I'm telling the truth. Listen to this. We've seen the housing market recover. The housing market is coming back. We've made sure that folks... I've told you since day one that's been a total lie. When the hedge funds came in and bought from the banks, got off their balance sheets, all these foreclosures, and they went into the key areas of the country where the housing got hurt the most, like Florida and California and Las Vegas, when the hedge funds went in, with free money, 0% money from QE. They bought up hundreds of thousands of homes. Of course the price of housing, housing was going to go up, but it wasn't sustainable. Now, if you bought a house at the same time BlackRock was buying houses and the prices were going up, you're now underwater because housing prices have dropped in those same areas 10 to 20% because they stopped buying, now they're renting them. Housing is not rebounding. We just got a report from the home bills, KBH. KBH Home Builders, one of the biggest. Their bottom line, break even. In fact, the CFO is saying he can't make money. His margins are going to be down. They're pulling out of a lot of the land deals they're buying. They don't want to get caught like last time. Remember last time they kept buying land, buying land, buying land. They didn't care what they paid for land because they you used to make money not on the house. You never A builder never makes money on the house. He always makes money on the land. The house is a throwaway for them. But things got so crazy back in, uh, in the housing boom that builders could make money for the first time on a house. So they bought, they didn't care what they paid for land. As long as the interest rates were down, as long as they're going to loan money to anybody, the demand was there for housing, they could make money on the house. No longer. So look what's happening. This time they're saying, we're not going to get caught with land. Things aren't good. So they're dumping their land deals. That's all of the home builders. The home builders, their stocks used to surge. Not now. They're the worst. They're the biggest losers. The home builders are now the biggest losers. They're down 3% from their highs. So see, there is not a housing rebound. And here's the key, the manufacturing bound. And here's the whole thing about the economy. Again, when you hear corporations and you hear CNBC and you hear this administration and everybody talk about how, how corporations are having this historic, historic earnings. No, they're not. Excuse me. Yes, they are. But where are they coming from? Slash and first firing everybody, then taking people and putting them part time and then taking their wages and slashing them. That's how you get the historic earnings. That's terrible for America. And manufacturing is the worst. Manufacturing is the worst. Manufacturing has been touted on CNBC and by this administration as, and, and Penny Prisker. 
the Secretary of Commerce has this big experience, this big major rebound. Not true. Last job report, December, we had 253,000 jobs. The administration called it the longest streak of job creation since 1995. But CNBC doesn't look at the story, inside the story, like I do, which is things in manufacturing are but ugly, but ugly. You know, so much for this increased manufacturing and wages. They keep telling us that wages are increasing in manufacturing. No, they're not. Manufacturing workers earned a wage significantly higher than the U.S. average, which are mostly bartenders and waitresses and retail clerks. But wait a minute. The average factory worker made 7.7% below the median wage for all occupations. Manufacturing workers. Real wages dropped 4.4% in 10 years. What are they talking about? we got a rebound. That's nearly three times faster than for workers overall. Although, remember, manufacturing in the U.S. increased by a pathetic 4.3%. The mean hourly wage of manufacturing workers was $17.11 in 2013, while the medium wage was $15.66. In real terms, since 2003, the inflation-adjusted median hourly wage for manufacturing workers has declined by a dollar an hour. Manufacturing rebound is a myth, is a lie. There's no rebound. Manufacturing for 2013 and 2014 is still 3.2% below 2007 levels, despite the GDP has grown 5.66%. Since Obama took office, when he, the day he took office, there were 8 million manufacturing jobs. We dropped to 6 million. That's 2 million fewer manufacturing jobs since Obama became president. And all these statements from Penny Prisker, Secretary of Commerce, and this administration and CNBC that we're on this big manufacturing rebound, all these following statements are a lie and a myth. Here's one of them. China's rising labor costs, they told us, will soon mess U.S. wages. Not true. While Chinese wages are increasing, they are estimated to be just 12% of the average U.S. wage. What are you, nuts? Hey, we'll be right back and take a look at the market when it opens. 28 past the hour here on Phil's Gang. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Please grab a pen and paper or type this into your phone, investyourself.com. For the best free financial newsletter on the planet, go to investyourself.com and sign up today. Hi, my name is Bob Renier, and for over 20 years I've been publishing investyourself.com, and I guarantee this is the only newsletter that provides the truth, it's easy to read, and it's free. Consider this. The feds have just ended the QE program in this country, but Japan and Europe continue to print money, and all of this affects our stock market in ways you've never seen before. I invite you to sign up at investyourself.com. Our absolutely free newsletter will help guide you through what's really affecting our markets instead of the nonsense you hear from the mainstream media. For over 20 years, people have called it the best free newsletter on the planet, and I think you'll agree. Take a moment and go over to investyourself.com and sign up today. It's absolutely free, no credit card required, no ID required. Simply pop your email address in the box. That's investyourself.com, investyourself.com. PillsGang.com is a powerful online website for novice and experienced stock traders and investors who demand professional-grade online tools, superior customer support, and extensive investing education. Not sure how to trade or invest in stocks? PillsGang.com is your number one educational source for online stock trading and investing material with daily webinars, individual charting videos, and programs customized to make you a smarter, more informed investor. It's as simple as following Phil's gang.com's Phil Grande and Donald Cogswell. When they buy, you buy. And when they short stocks, you short. In this volatile market, wouldn't it be nice to have someone guide and coach you to create wealth in the stock market? Well, you can with philsgang.com. Simply go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. 
Professional traders and investors know that Interactive Brokers provides the edge they need in today's markets. Low commissions and financing rates, along with best price execution and a focus on advanced trading technology and low costs that help maximize returns. At Interactive Brokers, not only do professional traders and investors get direct market access to stocks, options, futures, forex, bonds, and funds on over 100 markets in 23 countries from a single IB Universal account, they also benefit from a wide array of advanced trading technology, from extensive options trading tools to sophisticated risk management and much more. Keep a pulse on daily market activity with commentary with IB's Traders Insight, which delivers market analysis from professional traders in the industry directly to your screen. Visit us at InteractiveBrokers.com to learn more about these offerings. InteractiveBrokers.com Interactive Brokers, member SIPC. Every single one of his medical bills, everything, is just all taken care of. We have phenomenal research, outstanding clinical care, and the generosity of public, which allow us to treat patients regardless of what it takes. At St. Jude, families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food, because the only thing a family should worry about is helping their child live. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. I'm here today with Phil'sGang.com's Phil Grandy. Phil, do people really get hurt with 401k fees? Sure, you're seeing it today like no other time because most people don't understand the fees. And when the 401k started out, it was a perfect timing because the stock market was roaring for two years. So they didn't care what they were paying for fees. It always looked like they were making money in spite of the fees. It wasn't until the market broke they found out that they were being scammed by fees. It's just a 1% fee, they wipe out 28% of your money. So you're saying, there's a big difference in how much money you end up with at retirement. Amazing that 85% didn't know what effect these high fees had on their retirement money. For every 1% they pay, 1% takes away 28% of your retirement money. 2% you lose more than half of all the money you put away for your retirement. Fees are damaging your future, your retirement. Learn more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy of philsgang.com. You know, a lot of people are afraid of the stock market after losing most of their money in the different crashes, but now you don't have to be fearful because we have technology that will tell you when the markets are ready to collapse. That's right, the PT2. I designed it so that we get information in advance of any correction. The smallest correction to the largest correction. Get my PT2. Make sure this time when you are investing that you have safety on your side. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. Welcome back to the Phil's Gang Show. This segment is brought to you by Phil's Easy Trade Platform. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. That's right. Move over, TD Ameritrade, Scott Trade. Starting today, I'm introducing the new leader in the pack of the finest trading platforms in the country. It's Phil's Easy Trade Platform. Now, for information, you go to my site, philsgang.com, or call 877-600-GANG. Now, the difference between my platform and TD Ameritrade and Scott Trade and all the other great platforms is mine was designed by a professional trader, by traders, by investors, not by geeks. Okay, that's the difference. When you put, a, when you're using a platform, you look at him, you go, "Why would somebody do this?" Obviously, he's not a trader. My Easy Trade, Phil Easy Trade platform, is easy to navigate. So easy to execute and includes all the most important and advanced features that give both you a professional or a novice investor the edge they would expect in a platform. So simplistic and so stealth-like so to assist you in building your profit center. So for information on Phil's Easy Trade platform, go to philsgang.com. Or call 877-600-GANG and you will see the big difference, big difference compared to even the best, even the best, like Scott Trade's platform or TD Ameritrade. And I mean it. Check it out. And you know what's real easy? 
the price. It's easy on your wallet. That's the great thing about Phil's Easy Trade platform. Check it out. Okay. The market has opened. Let's go check it out. And the market is down 173 points. That's right. 173 points. Stock Corner is brought to you by the Phil's Gang video channel. Go to philsgang.com. Click on the video channel graphic and check out Phil's free videos on the market, economy, and current events. Okay, do you remember I told you Alcoa Aluminum, when they came out with the numbers and they financially engineered the numbers to go up by taking their regular expenses and shifting them over to where they claimed they're a one-time expense so their, their, their numbers look better and they beat the street from $0.22 cents earning per share. They came out with $0.33. Cents. I said, it's a fake. Look what happened. Yesterday, on the opening, they came in and sold it hard. Today, it gapped down, dropped again. You see, you keep cheating, it doesn't work. Let's take a look at J.P. Morgan this morning. They opened. Let's see how they're doing on the market. Hey, Jamie Dimon says, everything's terrific. You heard him. I mean, Jamie Dimon must be the head of the Chamber of Commerce for his own city. I mean, he can hawk things. It's incredible. And, and guess what? The Jamie Dimon, his J.P. Morgan is down. That's right. Gapped down. Gap down. Last night, J.P. Morgan, I'll get you the close on J.P. Morgan at 58.88. And right, J.P. Morgan right now is trading at 56.70. Wait, I thought he said everything was terrific. I'm glad you mentioned the depth of J.P. Yeah. Morgan and what you're doing, because I want to ask you from that vantage point uh, what you're seeing in terms of the health of the economy. Yeah. Let's, let's start in the U.S. and sort of right. walk around globally. Uh, how do you characterize things? Yeah. So the U.S., if you looked at all most of the forward-looking things, household formation, 10 million more people working since the depths of the Great Recession, businesses are actually doing still low amount of capital expenditures, but it's growing. Um, but growing? They just put... Obama just put 75,000 pages of new regulations against small businesses like mine. Growing? What are you, nuts? Let's take a look at Wells Fargo. They reported last night Wells Fargo closed. And Wells Fargo closed at 51.82. And right now Wells Fargo is trading at 51.53. So it is down as well. Again, let's go back and take a look at all of this nonsense I keep telling you that you, they don't, they've been slaughtering the employment. I mean, when they first started, in two, when we had our crash 2008, they just fired everybody. Now they're just not going to pay them. The only people making money are the CEOs. They're exercising their options with this big myth and all this stuff about how things are terrific and the economy's coming back. All they do is keep borrowing money at 0%, keep buying their own shares, so their stock goes up. That's how they get their stock up, not from consumers. Cons consumers don't have any money. Look what happened. They just came out with a report today about retail. Retail has dropped. Now, they're going to come out and tell you, well, that's because gasoline is down, and, of course, gasoline, st gasoline stations are in retail reports. No, let's pull that out. It's still a disaster because people don't have money. They don't. They, they just don't, and, and that's, that's the real problem. We have so many myths that are going on in this uh, manufacturing. It's, it's just incredible. Example, Prisker comes out and says, China's rising labor costs will soon match U.S. wages. What are you nuts? That's not even possible. NAFTA, when NAFTA came on, that was the end of manufacturing in this country forever. Nobody in manufacturing, nobody can make money in this country manufacturing. You can't compete with China's labor cost it's not true she's lying chinese wages are increasing but not that much they're still estimated to be just 12 percent of our wage so 12 percent of 17 dollars so they're paying 17 dollars at a manufacturing plant in the united states they you ship your stuff over to china why do you think earth is being built in china instead of paying 17 dollars an hour for labor you're paying 12 percent of 17 dollars now, here's another lie. The shale, the shale gas boom gives us manufacturing a substantial advantage. Remember when she said that? Not true. Energy costs are lower than 5% of shipment value for 90% of the manufacturing sector. Therefore, 
Shell Energy has had an impact only on energy intensive industries so far. That's it. Another one. Currency fluctuations will fix the trade deficit. Not true. The dollar has not been able to fix the U.S. trade deficit, which has been running uh, since, what, 1975, 1970? Superior U.S. productivity growth will restore jobs, she said. Not true. Productivity in the U.S. is growing much slower than in China and South Korea. Where are they coming up with this stuff? It's just all lies, all a myth. It's all to create an illusion. And to keep getting the stock market up by firing everybody then putting people on, on uh, half-time or part-time because of Obamacare and then finally suppress wages. And then to get the market up and create an illusion that the economy is doing good because 9 out of 10 people look at the stock market and think it's the same as the economy. Now, from an in-depth analyst by the government's own agency, the BLS, U.S. manufacturing workers, Value added and productivity, U.S. manufacturing is shown to be in state of moderate cycle growth and not experience a rebound. The manufacturing sector grew in December at the fastest pace since 1995, they said. Not true. It grew at the slowest pace in six months because of the weakness overseas, like in Europe. Now, this report came from the Institute for Supply and Management Report. So when you hear all this stuff about how manufacturing is coming back, it is not true. Let's relax with some music. Yes, Hawaii. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful You ever been to Hawaii? I've been there. So beautiful. Let's just enjoy the Hawaiian music for a moment. Let's calm down. There we go. Okay, the grumpy old man is calming down now. All right. All right. <laughs> People hate the truth, don't they? You know, you know that sinking feeling after you have this wonderful vacation? You get home and you open up your credit card. It's in the mail like your American Express and that, or your Visa, and you get that. You got your bill from the credit cards. It's that sinking feeling. Well, get ready for another queasy sinking feeling because we just got... The first family's bill, you and I got to pay for $20 million. $20 million. Hey, I don't blame he's taking a vacation, but stay home and rent some videos. Hey, we'll be right back after this break. 43 past the hour on Phil's Gang. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, this is Phil Grandy of PhilsGang.com. What makes investors around the world successful? They are savvy. They do their homework. They look for the best deal. And they find it at PhilsGang.com and Interactive Brokers. Professional investors know that Interactive Brokers provides the edge they need in today's markets. Low commissions and financing rates, along with best price execution and a focus on advanced trading technology and low costs that help maximize returns. At Interactive Brokers, not only do professional investors get direct market access to stocks, options, futures, forex, bonds, and funds on over 100 markets in 23 countries from a single IB Universal account, they also benefit from a wide array of advanced trading technology. Go to Interactive Brokers and improve your returns today. PhilGang.com. Choose InteractiveBroker.com. Check out Interactive Brokers for more information. Be sure to tell them Phil Grandy sent you. That's InteractiveBrokers.com. What makes investors around the world successful? They're savvy. They do their homework. They look for the best value. And they find it at Interactive Brokers. Phil's gang chooses interactive brokers, stocks, options, futures, forex, bonds, and worldwide from one account. I recommend interactive brokers to all my Phil's gang members. I use it myself. Check them out. Go to philsgang.com and click on the interactive brokers graphic. And that's philsgang.com. Investors who want to maximize their opportunities and minimize their losses, turn to philsgang.com. Beginner or seasoned investor. 
PhilsGang.com is where you learn to invest using professional level skills and strategies, regardless of your experience and investing goals. I've been a member for about a year, and I'm just this year I'm up around uh, 60% on my portfolio. I'm a new gang member. I'm up like 15% in three months. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving my confidence back in trading. For only $49.95 a month, you will have access to all Phil's Gang programs, special alerts, the daily investing class, and all material is archived. So why don't you take care of your financial opportunities with PhilzGang.com? Operators are standing by. Simply call 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Or go to PhilzGang.com. That's PhilzGang.com today. Join the Phil's Gang Show every Friday for the Phil's Gang Business Roundtable segment. Phil Grande is the recipient of the prestigious Arthur Young Venture Magazine Entrepreneur of the Year Award. And Phil's companies have been honored on the Inc. 500 list two years in a row with two of the fastest growing companies in America. Phil will share his business knowledge, insights, secrets, and experience on how to build, buy, and sell a business. That's the Phil's Gang Business Roundtable segment. Fridays only on the Phil's Gang Show. Listen live at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Move over, TD Ameritrade and Scott Trade. There's a new leader in the pack of the finest trading platforms in the country. That's right, Phil's Easy Trade Platform, designed by professional traders, and is why it's so easy to navigate, so easy to execute, and includes the most important and advanced features that give both professional and novice traders the edge they would expect. So simplistic, so stealth-like to assist you in building your profit center. For information on Phil's Easy Trade Platform, go to philsgang.com or call 877 gang that's right, folks. PhilsGang.com now offers a stock trading and investing platform. This unique platform is fast and designed for performance with the integration with PTT1 and PTT2 stock charts. It will also be tailored to the way that Phil's Gang teaches you in class. For more information, simply go to PhilsGang.com or call 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Welcome back to the Phil's Gang Show. This segment is brought to you by Phil's Gang, investyourself.com. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. This segment is sponsored by investyourself.com. Now, he doesn't pay a penny. No, not that Bob's cheap. I just love the guy, and I love the fact that his newsletter is free, and I love the fact for 25 years he's never had a losing year. That's why I promote this newsletter. 25 years. This guy, this investor, has never had a losing year. So get his newsletter, investyourself.com. It's free. Get it now before it's not free any longer. Investyourself.com. I read it. You should, too. And this is a bunch of BS. I really do read it. All right. Check it out. Investyourself.com. Sign up for it now because at some point it's not going to be free anymore. Okay. Now. Everybody can go. I want to take a look, show you some stocks. But right now, every day, you can go to my site, philsgang.com, and you can see me on the camera, on the video. But more important than looking at me is the charts. That's what I want you to see. So just go to philsgang.com, and then you click on to where it says Vil, the, the view link. philsgang.com, click on uh, listen live, and then there's, a, then there's a video link you just click on. Okay, this is what I want to show you. So if you're following me, if you're in front of your computer, the stock market is now down 195 points, almost, two, almost 200 points. Now think about this first. I want to go back to this China, the lie that we're getting from this administration, from Pritzker. Oh, by the way, Pritzker, she's the head of the, she's the Hyatt family, or Hilton, yeah, Hilton Hyatt family. I forget, her net worth is like $40 million. Anyways, she bought she she bought that seat on, uh, on Obama's uh, cabinet. Okay, China. They say that they're, she says the rising labor costs will soon match U.S. wages, and that's why we're going to have this big surge in manufacturing. Not true. Our average in this country, we pay people seventeen dollars. So tell me something. So we are twelve percent. Their wages over there are twelve percent. A dollar. You, if you're going to manufacture hair dryers. Is you're going to pay somebody in China right now $1.74. Here in the United States, you're going to pay them 17 bucks. 
And she says, soon? They're going to they're gonna match the wage? Are you kidding? From $1.74 up to $17, that's going to happen soon? One hung low will shoot anybody that comes in the factory asking for a wage increase. <laughs> it's not a democracy over there. They'll shoot them. It'll never happen. It's all BS. Hey, talk about shooting. I, gotta, I, gotta, I know you all think that I just beat up Obama too much, but let me tell you this. I'm for Obama. He made a great decision not to go to Paris and walk in that front line. I mean, can you imagine? He was the smartest one not to go. If he was in that front line, arm in arm, he would have been the target. Now, here's where Obama screwed up. He should have sent Al Sharpton. He's great at marching, man. He marches everywhere. Send the pro. He knows how to move those feet. That's, who, that's his mistake. Send O.L. over there. But no, I'm for it. I'm glad he didn't go because, as I said, he would have been the biggest target. Okay, let's take a look at the stock market and the charts. And this is why you get my PT2. Watch this. And again, just go to my site, philsgang.com, if you're in front of your computer. Click on Listen Live, and then click on Video, and you'll see my chart. Here's KR. This is one of the stocks that, I, that, that we have in our teaching or in our, uh, in our class this morning. And by the way, if you can't come to class, if you're a gang member because you're busy, everything is archived. So this is one of the stocks that we're going to be teaching this pattern, and this is why this is a good stock. Take a look at this. It's green. See how green it is? And it's telling you right here it's in a buy mode. That money is coming into KR. Now let's switch and let's go to another stock. Let's go to a semiconductor, Micron Technology. It switched from green, see so you hit the green, to red. That tells you money is coming out. Money is coming up. How good is that? So if you're invested in a stock and you're afraid, gee, I don't want these stocks to go down, I'm going to get hurt. How are you going to get hurt when my PT2 turns from green to red? Now, let's take a look at the S&P 500. Okay, so if you invested in the spiders and it turned from green to red, so you know not to buy the spiders, not to be in the spiders, to take profits in the spiders. And at the same time, when it was red and it turned green and went up about 8%, you would have caught that move because it turned to green. I mean, it's incredible. This technology is incredible. So you're not going to get caught. You're not going to feel that feeling you had in 2008 when the stock market crashed. You're not going to have that feeling like, like the tech cons when the stock market crashed, being totally surprised. How's that going to happen when you have a warning with a PT2? Check it out. Okay. Now, with three minutes left, i I, I got to say something. That This is incredible. Do you remember 60 Minutes did a piece on how the congressmen, they would put a bill together or they're going to vote on a bill and they get all that inside information and they, before they pass the bill, they go buy stock. And remember how they turned around and everybody in 60 Minutes, when they found it out, there was an uproar. And then right away, they stopped the congressmen from trading. They put in this law called the Knowledge Stock Act, which no more. Congress couldn't do that. However, what CNBC never reported to us, nobody reported, just myself, that right before they passed the stock act that was going to stock, stop every congressman from using that inside information they had when they were passing bills, putting bills together, they did another bill that they attached to it. And they took that bill and they attached to the other bill and they passed it on a Saturday morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, where it canceled out, where now they get an exemption. That's right. Members of the House and the Senate got together secretly. They wrote legislation to make them exempt from the SEC regulation on inside trading, allowing them now to trade freely on inside information obtained by conducting their official congressional activities. The bill was buried in all these other bills. So, yes, the, the bill went in to stop, but right to stop this, but right behind it was this new bill. Nobody reported. I did. And now the speaker is making a fortune. Pelosi and John Boehner are making a bundle of money. They own all the stocks that have to do with Obamacare. That's right. And here's what's funny. Guess who his advisor is? John Kerry. So I, oh, but, well, well, he was fighting John Kerry on Obamacare and these policy matters of, of Obamacare. He was allied with Kerry when it came to investment decisions. Kerry was his guide, which stocks to buy. On December 10, 2008, Bonner bought all kinds of health insurance stocks, including, uh, including Cardinal Health, Cigna, WellPoint, on and on and on. And Johnson & Johnson, Forest Labs. 
So he has heavy investments in Obamacare stocks. So here he is supposed to be looking out for our interests and trying to get this Obamacare, okay, stopped or turned over. But at the same time, he's investing in stocks that are going to do well if Obamacare stays in place. So he's telling us we got to get wipe out. We got to get rid of Obamacare. He's now that he now we have the Senate and the House. He's going to get rid of Obamacare. That's what he tells us. No, he's not, because if he gets rid of Obamacare, he loses money. Think about it. Well, Point stock on December tenth, the price was about fifty six bucks, and 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 right now, uh, oh God, what's Well Point? Uh, I don't I don't have the symbol. I'll get the symbol from my producer here. But now, within a month, it was trading at 66 bucks. Cardinal Hell well, was the same thing. That stock moved up about 20%. So, so once again, I mean, think about these congressmen. Bonner. I, 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 mean, I mean, just, it's sickening. It's sickening that he can now, in, in, in Pelosi, make all this money off of Obamacare and he's not going to try to stop Obamacare. He's making way too much money. Listen, go to my site, philsgang.com. Join the gang. I have the best teaching format, I believe, in the country. Join my gang. Get a financial education. No, it's not a root canal. You'll enjoy it. We have fun. 56 past the hour. Have a good day. been listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's so-